public. Have you also felt like you lack confidence in public speaking? How can we have confidence in public speaking? To achieve success in public speaking, one must acquire the skills, the factors that make up effective public speaking, and the elements of technique. For today's video presentation, we will talk about public speaking. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. For you to be updated of my upcoming videos, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. What is public speaking? Public speaking is a speech making before a large group of audience in a formal situation wherein you, the speaker, communicate ideas with others through words and actions facial expressions to create ideas in their mind. How can we have confidence in speaking? How can we become a confident public speaker? To achieve success in speaking, one must acquire the skills, the factors that make up effective public speaking, and the elements of technique. Do you know that you may overcome lack of self-confidence? The following information must be taken into consideration to come up with an excellent public speaking performance. Let us start with factors that make up effective public speaking. Personality. This refers to the sum total of all physical, mental, and emotional traits. It is not just a matter of height, color, and shape but the development of all the traits of an individual. This includes personal grooming, which refers to the speaker's general appearance, and attitudes, which refer to the impression you are giving to your audience as you are seen. Intelligence. Common sense, tact, good taste, wide interest, and self-criticism are indicators of intelligence in public speaking. Common sense is the ability of the speaker to size up situations, meet emergencies, and act accordingly. It is also manifested in the speaker's demonstration of good judgment to select and to discuss topics according to the needs of the occasion and the demands of the audience. Tact. This is the ability of the speaker to put himself in the shoes of his fellow being and realize how he would feel if some unkind remark were made about him. This is empathy at work. Good taste. This is the ability of the speaker to choose a subject appropriate to the needs of the audience and the demands of the occasion to select a language adapted to the educational level of the audience and to speak with ease and naturalness rather than with exaggerated elocution, elegant English, and artificiality and affection of expression. Wide interest is the speaker's profound knowledge of people, things, or situations. Self-criticism is the speaker's ability to hold himself at arm's length occasionally and to evaluate himself in the light of his public speaking performance as a communicator of ideas. Another factor that makes up effective public speaking is integrity or virtue. This refers to the speaker's acceptability to his audience as indicated by his moral virtues. Training is also one of the factors that makes up effective public speaking. This is consists of speech program intended to develop in the speaker skills and techniques to communicate ideas effectively. Training tells the speaker what to say. It also teaches the speaker how to say the speech. Training develops the speaker's confidence in his ability to communicate effectively. Training develops creative but critical thinking rather than a mechanical one. 
training aids the speaker to achieve the main objective of effective communication, which is to create a particular effect on a particular audience. And the fifth factor that makes up effective public speaking is technique. This refers to the speaker's ability to create an idea in the minds through the stimuli of words, facial expression, and movements. To sum it up, the five factors that make up effective public speaking are personality, intelligence, integrity or virtue, training, and technique. Now let's proceed to the elements of technique. Voice. This is the sound produced by the vibration of the vocal cords. Voice pitch. This is the highness or lowness of tone. Voice volume. This is the loudness or carrying power of voice. Voice quality. It distinguishes one voice from another when pitch, volume, and duration are the same. For instance, a voice may be hoarse, nasal, mellow, and others. Speech rate and pause. This is consists of the number of words uttered per minute and the cessation of speaking within or between sentences. Enunciation and pronunciation. This refers to the formation of voice into words and the manner of appearance of words. Gestures. Involve the movement of arms, shoulders, hand or head in the physical expression of thought. Posture. This is the position and bearing of the body. Facial expression. This refers to the aspect and general appearance of the face. Organization of thought. Refers to the logical arrangement of ideas. Composition. This is the manner of formulating ideas into effective sentences. Phrasing. This is the grouping of words into small units of thoughts. Audience contact. It means establishing mental contact with the audience by talking to its members. And motivation. This refers to the use of appeals and subject matter which are important to the audience and induce audience action. Knowing a few guidelines for ethical public speaking can take some of the edge of making a speech or presentation. Ethical public speaking is much like ethics in any other area of work. Honesty, integrity, and respect are all important. Honesty and accuracy are among of the most important aspects in ethics in public speaking. Make sure your information is accurate. Credit your sources whenever possible. Speaking consultant Stephen D. Boyd reminds the ethical speaker to support your assertions with relevant facts, statistics, and testimony. Tone and body language. Prepare a speech appropriate for the situation. Boyd warns that acting disinterested or unconcerned when presenting bad news can offend your listeners. Make sure your tone and body language are appropriate for the situation. Jonathan Steele of the Public Speaking Ethics Resource also advises speakers to pay close attention to intonation, pace, pitch, power, and sarcasm. Respect your audience. Do not offend your audience or single out any person or group during your presentation. Ethics in public speaking includes respecting everyone regardless of race, gender, religion, or ethnicity. Do not say anything that would damage someone's career and reputation. Respect your audience time by being well prepared. 
After knowing the factors that make up effective public speaking, elements of technique and ethics in public speaking, answer the two self-assessment questions. What situations cause you to feel uncomfortable in public speaking? What should you do to lessen the tension and have more confidence? And that's all for public speaking, guys. This is Teacher Anne saying, The only true way to increase your speaking confidence is by practice and experience. For today's words of wisdom, you can speak well if your tongue can deliver the message of your heart. That's according to John 4. Word of the day. Emprise, which means adventurous or daring. Used in the sentence, he always seems to be having the sort of high emprise that most of us experience only in our dreams. See you in our next lesson!